Have you ever set up a server and found yourself stuck trying to figure out how to test your scheduled tasks? It can be a real headache, right? If that sounds like you, stick around because today we're diving into how to simulate sending periodic tasks on your Elastic Beanstalk server. I totally get it. Setting up a cron job can feel like a puzzle, especially when you want to test it without waiting for the clock to tick. You're not alone in this. Many developers face the same challenge when working with Elastic Beanstalk. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user set up a worker tier on their Elastic Beanstalk server with a cron.yaml file to run a task every hour. They want to know what the message looked from SQS that triggers this cron job, or how to inspect the contents of the messages being sent to SQS. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So, what's happening behind the scenes? When your cron job runs, it sends a message to the SQS queue, which your worker tier picks up. Understanding this flow is crucial for troubleshooting and testing your setup effectively. And don't go anywhere. I'll share a quick tip at the end that will make testing your cron jobs a breeze. To begin testing the cron job on the Elastic Beanstalk server, the user should first understand the structure of the message that is sent from SQS to the worker. This message typically contains the necessary data for the task to execute. Next, the user can simulate sending a message to the SQS queue manually. This can be done using the AWS Management Console or the AWS Command Line Interface. The user should create a message that mimics what the cron job would send. After sending the message, the user should check the logs of the Elastic Beanstalk worker to see if the task was executed successfully. This can be done through the Elastic Beanstalk console or by accessing the logs directly. Finally, if the user wants to inspect the contents of messages being sent to SQS, they can enable SQS message logging. This will allow them to see the messages in the queue and understand their structure better. Fun fact, did you know that the first cron job was created in the 1970s? It's amazing how far technology has come since then, but some challenges remain the same. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. One alternative approach is to manually send a message from the AWS SQS console to simulate the cron job. In the message body, enter Elastic Beanstalk scheduled job. For message attributes, set beanstalk.sqsd.path to your job's URL without a leading slash and beanstalk.sqsd.scheduled time to your desired scheduled time. Let's move forward and look at another answer. One alternative approach is to check the SQS console to view the message contents. The user mentions that the message may end up in the dead letter queue. The expected message format is a JSON object with the task URL and task name. Additionally, you can manually send a message through the SQS console. Simply select the queue, choose Send a Message, enter the JSON message body, and click Send Message. In your controller, check the XEG SQSD task name header to identify the invoked task. Let's take a look at an answer from another user. An alternative approach to testing your cron job on an Elastic Beanstalk worker is to SSH into the worker instance. From there, you can use the curl command to immediately trigger the job via its URL. Let's take a look at another answer from another user. An alternative approach to simulate sending a periodic task on your Elastic Beanstalk server involves using the AWS SQS console. First, navigate to the SQS GUI and select your worker queue. If you're unsure of the queue, check the Elastic Beanstalk worker configuration for the worker queue URL. Once you've selected your queue, click on Send and Receive Messages. In the message body, enter Elastic Beanstalk's scheduled job. Then, add three message attributes, the path from your cron.yaml, the task name, and a scheduled time. It's important to include the scheduled time attribute, as the job may not start without it, even if it's ignored. Here's that quick tip I promised. Always log the messages your cron jobs send. This way, you can easily debug and understand what's happening without having to wait for the next scheduled run. And there you have it. 
You now know how to inspect SQS messages and simulate sending them to your Elastic Beanstalk worker tier. Remember, testing your cron jobs doesn't have to be a waiting game. If you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button for more tips and keep experimenting with your server.